And we back with another video. This time we're gonna talk about the upper back and the bench press and one mistake that I see a lot of people making that if they just corrected would have their bench press moving through the roof. Let's talk about it. So the upper back has two roles in the bench press. The first role is to provide a stable surface for you to press off of, so stability. And the second role of your upper back is to provide some power, to give you some more muscles to use during that bench press so that it's not just chesticles and arms. Because everyone knows uh, most of us don't train arms anyways, so we need all the muscles we can to make this bench press move a little bit better okay so let's define the problem first and the problem for most people is that they're going through scapular elevation or essentially shrugging their shoulders upwards and we don't want this to happen and then from that position they're going into a, a little bit more corrected position which is scapular retraction or squeezing your shoulder blades together and I know you've probably heard someone give you that tip, you know, squeeze your shoulder blades together, get them nice and tight so that you can have a good arch or a good base to bench off of. Well, if you do that, it leads to the problem that you just saw on the screen, and that is that you lose tightness. But you're not necessarily losing tightness, it's just when you're going to set your shoulders, you're shrugging up and then squeezing your shoulder blades together. And that doesn't need to happen because that's gonna lead you to lose tightness or when your lats actually fire in the bench press, which they should be, it pulls you out of that position. You can't hold yourself in that shrugged position and have your lats fire. And that's why you're losing tightness. All right, so how do we fix this? Well, it's pretty simple. We just go into scapular depression, which is the exact opposite of what we've been doing. Right? We allow our shoulders to sink down away from our ears and then we go into scapular retraction or squeezing the shoulder blades together. So here's what we were doing and this is what we want to be doing. And this is going to give us the best base, it's going to protect our shoulders and it's going to put us in that proper position to bench and utilize our upper back in both assets, stability and empower. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I do have two quick announcements if you could stick around for just a second. First announcement, the A7 restock. The shirt that I was wearing in this video is one of those. Is this Thursday, August 31st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So set them clocks, grab you a shirt, you better set your clocks. You don't know how many people have been waiting on this. You don't wanna miss out. I don't make anything off of this, but I make no money off of this. I have no reason to push it. I just know that if you get one, it will improve your training. That's what I know, because it has done that for myself. You don't have to worry about slick benches. You don't have to worry about bad bars that have no knurling. You don't have to worry about carrying around your own bag of chalk, because the shirt does it all for you. Seriously, go grab one. You won't regret it promise that. Second announcement. I'm still so blown away by this 1k thing. Like the support has been unreal. You guys are DMing me. You're posting about the hook grip tips. You're saying thank you for the tips that I am posting that aren't just the hook grip, which is even more incredible. A lot of you have been like saying that like you came over from Tim's channel and you're staying because of the quality of the videos and content and the stuff I'm putting out and that just blows me away. Like I started my channel for one reason, one reason only, and that was to share whatever I could with whoever I can. Um, and that's what we're doing and it's crazy. So uh, 1K is a very, very special like milestone in the YouTube world and I understand that. 
So I've been thinking about ideas like things that I should be doing or things that I would like to do to say thank you outside of like giving you all these gains that I've been giving you. And I think I found, I think I found it. So details on that coming soon, but just know from the bottom of my heart, thank you. We changing lives up in here. We making people better lifters. And that is what this sport is all about. People helping people get better at the thing that they both love. That's it, man. That's it. That's living right there. All right. If you like this video, please be the cool nerd or nerdette that gives it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out. And then also, I'll see some of you in that comment section. Stay muscular nerds.